In the past decade, interest rate liberalization was critical for the development of rates derivatives market in China. Rates derivatives offer greater flexibility and efficiencies in risk management, enabling investors to hedge risk. China's rates derivatives market is robust, safe, and efficient. As futures and derivatives law take effect on August 1, 2022, it is a significant milestone because for the first time in mainland China, there is specific legislation for the futures and derivatives market. This law will support the healthy development of China's capital market. Interest rate liberalization has been one of the core reforms in China's financial sector, and it has accelerated since 2013. China has achieved remarkable results in its market-driven interest rate reform. The People's Bank of China conducts open market operation on a regular basis to align the policy rate target with policymakers' desired level. Currently, the main policy tools of OML include reverse repo and medium-term lending facility, which function to inject liquidity into the money market. The movement of benchmark rates such as 7-day depository institution repo rate is confined within interest rate corridor. In August 2019, the PBC launched LPR reform, in which the panel banks quote the LPR based on MLF rate. A complete system of market-driven interest rate has been formed, and the yield curve has also been constructed and published, thereby improving the efficiency of the derivatives market in China. China's rate derivative market has developed rapidly over the past 20 years, as it has flourished with new products and increasing number of market participants. In 2005, China Interbank Market has launched the first rate derivative, Bond Forward, and IIS in the following year. In March 2020, the LPR reform facilitated the introduction of new products, including IIS options and interest rate cap flow options, both linked to LPR. As the most popular interest rate derivative in the CIBM, IIS are contracts in which two parties agree to exchange cash flow based on a specified principal amount. IRS usually involves the exchange of a floating interest rate for a fixed rate, or vice versa, to reduce or increase exposure to fluctuations in rates. The reference rate for onshore IRS includes 7-day repo, 3-month Shiber, overnight Shiber, 1-year APR, 5-year APR, as well as yield of 10-year CDB and CGB.